S endings in English. This video is sponsored by the following English learning websites. S endings in English. There are basically four types of S endings in English. Number one, plural S. Number two, third person singular S. Number three, possessive S. Number four, possessive plural S. Let's deal with the first two, plural S and third person singular S, first. They follow the same patterns when it comes to spelling and pronunciation. First, let's talk about spelling. For words ending in S, SH, Z, CH, and X, we add ES to the noun or verb. If the final letter is a Y, preceded by a consonant, we change the Y to I and add ES. For other words, we simply add S. Let's look at some examples. See the following table. We have nouns and verbs. Note that some of these words can function as either nouns or verbs. Let's look at the spelling and pronunciation here. S, Z, S, H, C, H, and X. These are talking about the word endings. So when we see these word endi endings, we add ES. Classes, buzzes, dishes, peaches, foxes. For verbs, kisses, fizzes, dashes, watches, fixes. Now, once in a while, you'll see a word which ends in a single S or one that ends in a single Z. Often, we will double the S or Z before adding ES. An example is bus, buses, quiz, quizzes. Nowadays, the word bus usually does not have a double S. That is changing. Sometimes ES is added to nouns and verbs ending in O. For example, potatoes and goes. Words ending in silent E. For words ending in silent E, we simply add S. Kites, cones, rides, faces, bridges. However, there may be differences in pronunciation as you will see later. Words ending in Y. A special rule applies when the final letter is Y. If the final Y is preceded by a vowel, we simply add S. Plays, buys, toys, keys. If the final Y is preceded by a consonant, we change the Y to I and add ES. Carry, carries. Penny, pennies. Pronunciation differences. Please note that pronunciation and spelling are not the same thing. Pronunciation deals with sounds. Spelling depends on the written word. For example, if the ending is S, Z, C, H, S, H, J, or the J sound, or X, the pronunciation is as follows. S, Z, Ch, Sh, Ch, X. To represent this, we use different kinds of spelling. For example, for the S sound, we use S, double S, S, E, or C, E. For the Z sound, we use single Z, double Z, Z, E, S, or S, E. For the CH sound, we we'll use C, H, or T, C, H. For the SH sound, we we'll use S, H, and sometimes C, H, E. For the CH sound, we we'll use G, E, or D, G, E, at the end of words. For the X sound, we we'll use X. We'll show you some examples. Let's look at the examples here. 
look at the endings, then we'll see the spellings with examples below. Pronunciation, s, spelling, s, 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 e, and c, e. Buses, bosses, cases, faces, z, z, double z, z, e, s, and s, e. Quizzes, mazes, joneses, phases, ch, ch or tch, beaches, ditches, sh, sh or che at the end, wishes, caches, j, ending in ge or dge, wages, badges, x, ending in x, boxes, fixes. Let's look more carefully at the pronunciation. The sound at the end of the word is what matters here. If the final word sound is F, K, P, T, then the final S sound is S. If the final word sound is S, Z, C, H, S, H, J, or X, X, then the final S sound is Uz. If the final word sound is anything else, then the final S sound is Z. Let's look at some examples. Final sounds f, k, p, t, or f, k, p, t. Final s sound s, backs, chiefs, tips, sets, rakes, laughs. Notice with rakes and laughs, it's the sound, not the letter, that makes the difference. More examples. Final sounds. S, Z, C, H, S, H, J, and X. Or S, Z, Ch, Sh, J, X. The final sound, S sound, is Uz. Example, misses, buzzes, catches, wishes, buses, badges, cages. Faces, phrases, foxes. Note, for nearly all of these types of words, there is an ES ending. Some have a silent E in the original word. Let's look at some more examples. Final sounds. All vowels B, D, G, L, M, N, R, V, and letters like H, W, and Y, which can sometimes function or help the vowel sound. Final S sound, Z. Cars, dogs, trees, beds, caves, cows. Nouns and verbs. The same spelling and pronunciation patterns apply to both nouns and verbs. However, usage can be a little tricky. For nouns, S endings apply to regular plurals. Boy, boys. Cat, cats. Verbs with S endings. S endings apply to verbs in the third person singular form. For example, hits, calls, plays, gives, catches. Don't forget the special rule when dealing with why. Hurry, hurries. Try, tries. Putting it together. Generally, when there is no S in the noun, singular, there is an S on the verb in the third person in present tense. The girl sleeps. The dog plays. Notice the difference with plural nouns. The girls sleep. 
no s on the verb. The dogs play. Of course, there are irregular nouns which do not have s plurals, but that is a topic of another lesson. People eat. Children like candy. Women sing. Special S forms for verbs. Some verbs have special S forms. The most common are be, is, and was, and have, has. For example, we are doctors. They have a new car. He is a doctor. She has a new car. In the past tense, he was tired. Also, I was tired. This applies to the I, the first person, in the past tense. Three and four, possessive forms. There are two forms of the possessive in English. Regular possessives, apostrophe S, and plural S possessives, S apostrophe. The difference is where the apostrophe occurs. We will examine each of these separately. Regular possessives. We form the regular possessive by adding apostrophe s to singular nouns. For example, Bob's coat, the cat's dish. Non-count nouns. Water's edge, furniture's price. Irregular plurals. People's money, men's room. Plural S possessive. For plurals ending in S, we add an apostrophe after the final S or ES and nothing else. For example, kids' computer, the dog's food, the horse's pasture, the fox's den. These are referring to plural subjects. More examples. Students' book. One student, one book. Students' books. One student, many books. Students' book. Many students, one book. Students' books. Two students, many books. Even more examples. Girls' phone. Dogs' sunglasses. Students' computers. Kids' hats. The same pronunciation rules, as we learned above, apply here. For example, duck's wings, the s sound. Man's phone, the z sound. Horse's tail, the uz sound. Notes on spelling and pronunciation. When a family name ends in S, the added plural is ES. Mr. Jones, one person. The Joneses, the whole family. When a person's name ends in S, the possessive is still apostrophe S. Mr. Jones's car. Pronunciation is US. The plural possessive is ES. For example, the Jones's house. Pronunciation is still is. Want to test yourself? Try out some of these pictures for spelling and pronunciation. For example, you see this picture. You say or write, boy's computer, boy's jacket, or boy's smile. Ready? Let's try it. Picture number one. Some possible answers. Woman's necklace. Man's bow tie. Woman's earrings. Man's suit. What else can you think of?
picture number two. Possible answers. Students' book. Students' school. Students' jeans. Boys' glasses. Girls' boyfriend. Students' friends. Friends' group. Anything else? Picture number three. Possible answers. Man's girlfriend. Woman's boyfriend. Woman's flowers. Friend's flowers. Couple's flowers. Other things? Notes. Woman's flowers. The flowers belong to only the woman. Friend's flowers. The flowers belong to both people. Couple's flowers. The couple is one unit. The flowers belong to the pair. Keep practicing. Look around you. There are many ways to practice S endings in everything you see. Hope that was helpful. Remember to subscribe to get more videos like this and visit our websites for more information. Thanks for watching. Click on the like button to give us a thumbs up and submit your ideas for our next video.